Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian, and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the West Coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Morning. Whoa. We're off to work. Good morning, everyone. Jelly's going to take me to work in the dinghy today. We've been meaning to do this for a while, but... Never too late. Never too late. To start. Today's my last day at, at this building, so... It's the last chance. <laughs> All right. We had a couple big days of rain, so she's pretty full. What do you think? I think it's gonna be good. Why wouldn't you start? Well, we can't get the engine to start, which is kind of disappointing, um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a go later today. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's going on with it. We'll have to probably, first of all, I need to get some carb cleaner. We have to check the spark plugs. We didn't have time for that before Jonas had to be at work, so um, yeah, kind of disappointing, but still a gorgeous day. it sometimes when it like goes and then dies but oh I don't know yeah super annoying I don't really know what to do about it though like it's been doing that for uh, forever I'm trying to pick Jonas up from work but <laughs> yeah but yeah no I'll definitely clean them out um, hopefully this weekend okay cool yeah I will thank you
Well, I made it. Now I just gotta find Jonas and a place to park. Oh goodness, quite the wait. Way faster to buy boat, that's for sure. Yeah, this is very cool. I was sincerely concerned he was coming for us. <laughs> You done good, kid. Done good. Ooh. Yeah, that was fun. Time for tea. Time for tea. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> ah, things are falling. Yeah, we're in Tea City in here. Too much tea to choose from. Yeah, we made we a little ham on the tea. Calming chamomile. Yeah, this was Jillian's like pandemic impulse buy. There was some yeah. ridiculous sale for tea, loose leaf tea, and Jillian went ham. Yeah. Cold 911. I remember. <laughs> I, I remember. This was in like March, maybe right in a March 2021, or March 2020, beginning of the pandemic. Jillian was like. We need cold 911 tea. <laughs> it's gonna be a pandemic. You gotta have. We gotta be covered. <laughs> you gotta be covered with, with the cold 911. Oh, yes. Oh, Check out these mugs. They're little blue moon mugs. It's funny, too, because um, I was given those as a gift way before sailboat. <laughs> or I say way before purchasing the sailboat. <laughs> Where is this show? I just throw her in. Have you ever read this package? It no. says one to two perfect spoons. <laughs> What's a perfect spoon? I don't know. Well, I suppose that spoon will do. Are you just making one mug or what's happening with the other the other situation? Distracted by the telephone. <laughs> oh, it's the end of the day. I'm yeah, tired. we got some serious sun today. Yeah, should I show my... I don't want to show my tan, though. <laughs> I'm the Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I'm worried this steam is going to mess with the lens. Oh, no. What? It got loose. Oh. Oh! The loose tea got loose. Well, uh, the, we could not get the dinghy started. So Jill was not able to take me to work. Um, that's not the first time that's happened. Unfortunately, that outboard has given us trouble at the worst times. One time I had to catch a ferry. This is when we were on the morning ball. And uh, we could just not get the outboard started. So we had to row the, uh, we had to row. Thankfully I made it on the ferry, so it was all good. It's literally the most reliable outboard when you're not in a rush to get anywhere. Yes. Like, if I'm just, you know, putting to shore just for a fun little walk, starts it up. starts first pull every single time, no problem. But as soon as you have to go somewhere on a time crunch, like trying to go to work, not gonna happen. I think, I literally think the only times it's ever given us problem is when someone needed to get to a ferry or if I had like a meeting or somewhere that I was in a time crunch. Yeah. 
But that's okay. Jill got it started later in the afternoon and she was able to come pick me up from work. So that was a blast. Still super gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell, but we got quite a bit of sun today, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was super sunny today and we were outside mm -hmm. doing some filming. I have a horrible tan line with my hat, <laughs> which you may or may not be seeing. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely glad that Jill was able to come get me in the afternoon at least, especially because that was actually my last day of work for this contract. So with my job, it's sort of seasonal. In the winter time, it's, there's more administrative work to do. And then in the summer, once we get into the fire season here in British Columbia, work obviously tends to ramp up. And so going forward over the next few months, I'm gonna be in sort of a, a more rotational schedule. So I'm gonna be traveling a lot more and depending on how things are going with the weather and with fires, I may or may not be able to be down here as much as I'd like. Yeah, so, I mean, Jill, we're gonna enter sort of a new phase of boat life, I guess. When I moved onto the boat last summer, I was mostly on my own, and so I kind of got used to doing things by myself. But over the past however many months, I've sort of been accustomed to having Jonas around. Yes, I mean, sometimes I think it'll be actually easier for you if I'm not here as much. <laughs> just because, like, you have more space. Yeah, the stay cleaner. I won't, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I won't make much of a mess. I won't break the hatch boards off. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is definitely a lot different. I don't know, it's hard to explain because we have a really great community around here and we're starting to develop really great relationships with them. But at the same time, it is just kind of lonely not having someone else. I've always lived with multiple people. And this summer was the first time where I sort of lived alone, more or less. Well, I still especially, yeah, because you were on the mooring bowl. I feel like being on, being out sort of, yeah, off, offshore, um, anytime you were going to be doing any socializing, you'd have to take the dinghy in either to the... And it was yeah. during the pandemic, so, you know, there wasn't a lot of socializing going on. You'd go to the grocery store. Or... Even now, though, we're, we're still in a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> I've really appreciated having someone in my household throughout the pandemic, I guess. <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult time to be leaving to go to work because the weather has just been getting nice. We'd, we've had a few beautiful sunny days here. And a lot of our neighbors have started going out sailing or sort of making their sailing plans. So this is the first time I've really sort of been quite torn about my work because I'm leaving obviously a totally new novel environment and it's a beautiful place and there's so many things we can do. But I mean, like, like many people for the time being, we have to balance sort of earning a living with, with trying to sail and, and do other things. I read a comment which I really liked that said, essentially it's like the sailor's dilemma always to try and fund your sailing. You're working to save money so you can go on trips or you're on a trip and it's, it's difficult to earn money so you're sort of spending it and you go through these cycles and stuff and it is a challenge because most of the time if you're out on the water, like there's not a lot of opportunities for earning money and so at least for the time being, that's that's where we're at. It's nice to read comments like that and know that other other people sort of have, you know, millions of other people have been in that position before. I think there's going to be lots of opportunities and we'll, we'll see what happens with the weather. Hopefully it's a nice quiet summer of work and, and can get lots of time off. Yeah, and otherwise, just do a whole bunch of one-day trips and... Pra yeah. practice and I don't know practice a lot of docking or something it's even <laughs> fun I mean we have we have a blast just ripping around in the dinghy for yeah. an hour even if we have to do sort of shorter like day trips with uh, with blue moon I think anything is going to be great mm -hmm. uh, sure beats a lot of you know other ways of spending your weekends that's like the cool thing about having it once you own a sailboat, then it's like functioning. For us, it's like the ultimate form of recreation. Because you can go out for one night, you have everything you need. It's like camping, glamping, <laughs> but luxurious camping. And uh, you can still learn a lot even if you're just doing 
day trips. We're so fortunate to live on such a beautiful coast that we could spend years exploring just outside this harbor. Yeah. And that's really nice to know because it makes it a lot more doable to balance work life and boat life. Mm -hmm. Jill and I wanted to say a huge thanks to the people who've reached out to us and offered us um, different used items yeah. um, that they don't need. We've gotten some very generous offers for um, some little pieces of canvas work and some new hatch boards which we're excited about and a canvas cover which we're hoping to put up that goes over the companionway. Yeah. And then a couple days ago we met some subscribers who gave us some Mustang floater jackets which are going to be fantastic. I don't have any uh, sort of foul weather gear yet uh, so it's great that we can hopefully reuse gear that other people don't need anymore. Yeah. But I wanted to show you um, a couple books. This is one of them. Yeah, so this is a Gulf Islands cruising guide uh, from 1976, but it has beautiful old photos. The sailing community that we've met so far has been so generous, and, and we're just learning, just trying to learn as much as we can. Yeah, we just wanted to say a big thanks to, yeah. to everyone who's reached out to us. Oh, also, um, the other book we had is called The Gunk Holing in Desolation Sound. I haven't read too much of the book yet, so I thought our comment section would be a good place to ask. <laughs> if someone can explain gunk holing, because I think it's a very funny word. <laughs> we think we know what it means, <laughs> it, in reference to sailing. Um, <laughs> here's the book. What is a gunk holing? Jillian guessed it. She's not gonna tell me. I'll wait for the, <laughs> no. I'll wait for other people to tell me. Going forward, because of sort of changes to work, I may or may not be appearing in some of the videos <laughs> coming up. Hope I, I'm hoping to, and I'm hoping to share uh, some of the videos of my travels on the road and my more land-based experience over the next few months. Just a big shout out to anybody out there who has to deal with uh, long distance or rotational work schedules, life schedules. Um, I think a lot of people in today's world are sort of in that mode. I think the virus really complicated a lot of things. So Jill and I are with you. We've been doing it for a long time now. It's not perfect, but uh, for the time being, it's what we got. And we know that there's millions of other people out there um, going through the same type of experience. You definitely got some sun today though. Holy moly. The first few days of sun of the year are always pretty, uh, pretty harsh on the face. Yeah, I know it's so bad for you, but I love sun. You gotta get some SPF going. I know, who would have thought? I mean, it's March. I didn't think, but got pre-season 10. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do you want? Soup? Soup. Soup. One can of soup. Two can of soup. I think that's it. How many times are we going to eat Amy's soup? <laughs> A few more times, I guess. Until they run out, I suppose. <laughs> It's just so good. I mean, how can you not eat it, you know? I feel like for a solid month, we've just been eating mostly very simple meals. I don't know if it's just like the time of year or we've been swamped, but we have not had a whole lot of uh, motivation to do anything fancy. Yeah, it's been a lot of soup and like, I don't know, sandwiches and stuff. <laughs> soup, sandwiches, salads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coffee. Chocolate. Coffee never changes. That will always be part of my life. It's become a bit of a tradition to get eggs benedict um, on, I don't know, just on weekends sometimes. I wouldn't say it's become. We've been getting eggs benedict for like, we've been getting eggs benedict forever. Yeah. On the weekends. Yeah, so we figured. Sometimes we make it. But... <laughs> So we figured for our last sort of weekend um, before Jonas heads out, we would get some eggs benedict and eat it on beach. So that is where we're headed.
I really want to go under there. <laughs> mm, I think that's that's a recipe for a popped dinghy. <laughs> Pop it on the barnacles. Pop it on the barnacles. Yeah, it seems like the winter went pretty fast. I mean, it was the weather's been winterish, cold and cloudy. We've had quite a few nice days, but I'm sad to be leaving at the time of year when it's actually supposed to get super nice. Our resident geese. Where's his leg? Look. Yeah, that's wild. They hold them up, I think. That's funny. I had no idea. Kind of like a flamingo. Oh, swan. Check it out. Wow. Go really slow. I think this swan's partner actually got hit by a seaplane. I've never seen a swan up close before. Yeah, that's wild. I didn't even know they were here. us in circles there. <laughs> I feel like seals and like marine mammals in general just are really on top of things. Like I feel like they know a lot more than <laughs> Oh totally yeah. Guess. Yeah they're smart little guys. They know where we're going. Know where we've been. Meanwhile we got two then you have me. Two individuals in a small inflatable dinghy who are paddling against the current and only moving backwards. That's <laughs> what so this bad boy is for. Yep. She's been good to us. Starts up first pull. Look at that guy. He's a beast. Okay. Game on. Ready? Yeah. Don't be hitting other boats. Oh, we're going for the parallel park maneuver. Interesting. I could, I've got a plan. Okie dokie. <laughs> and we have done a full circle. <laughs> I've got a plan. Hello, so. Blue Moon. Wow. Honestly, not bad at a park job. Not bad. I'll give it not, to you. Not what I wanted to do. Here's what I wanted to do, right? You wanted to drag me along the side of the boat? No, we're not dragging. <laughs> we're not turning quickly enough. Yeah, this, this thingy doesn't have a keel and uh, it drifts more than it turns. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys in a couple weeks. I'm heading off to work now for a bit. I don't know.